All right, it's Russ McClellan. Our challenge right now, this week, this month, is to be grateful. You know, share grateful moments that you had in your life and your today. Uh, I love Brooke Fritz's. You got to watch Brooke Fritz's because he's got it. You know, except I'm not grateful for being able to comb my hair, Brooke. What's up with that? But I'm grateful to be able to shave my head. No, he's just very basic, man. Get up, dress yourself. That's cool stuff. All right, here's what I'm grateful for. I'm grateful. I'm gonna go back in time. When I was a rodeo guy, um, for, for two years, I got bucked off every single rodeo, every single weekend. And every single week, my dad would put me down on these, I think I was young, so it was like eight, nine years old, uh, for a couple years, every rodeo, little calves, steers, little Shetland ponies, sometimes yearlings, but every time, off goes Russ, in the dirt, slap, bang, boom, weekend after weekend after weekend. And my dad always had enthusiasm, always put me down. They'd ask, back then we didn't really have to like breed bulls or breed calves to buck because they just used electricity. You know, and they'd always ask me, you want to, you know, juice that calf up? Yep, yeah, or steer. Oh yeah, my son wants that. Boom, off I go. Well, finally, the third year, like maybe at the end of the second year, we're being bucked off every weekend, all summer. The last rodeo is in battleground washington i'm i'm really grateful for my dad because this is what he did that was so cool i was so desperate to ride to the buzzer you know i think it was six seconds for us junior rodeo kids so this time here i go hands in the air hats pulled down let's go out of the chute the steer takes about four steps sits down and here i'm just holding <gasps> You know, boom, the buzzer rang. I jumped off of that. My dad was out there in the rodeo grounds with me. And uh, the announcer was like, oh, this animal didn't buck. He'll get a re-ride. The judges walk up to my dad. He'll get a re-ride. My dad looks at me and goes, you want a re-ride? And I go, are you kidding me? The glass is broken and the door is open. I rode to the buzzer. And all the judges are kind of like, this kid's a little bit mental. Like, I'm sorry your son has a mental disability. Uh, he's a little weird. And instead of being embarrassed, I'm grateful because my dad just picked me up and you would have thought I won the Super Bowl. He treated me like that was the greatest ride of my life. And all it did is sit down. So and sometimes it's not what happens to you that matters. It's what you do with it that counts. And I'm grateful for my dad who died in April uh, for always teaching me that starting at a very young age. Peace out.